Hello and welcome to today's April 4th daily news report. There's a lot of breaking news stories that I want to share with you today. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. You watch this channel each day because I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden and the U.S. economy. So let's jump right in. I want to thank today's video sponsor, Blue Lagoon, and I'll tell you more about this incredible uh, company later in this video. I think this could be a big growth stock, but first let's jump through the news. Okay, in some breaking news, reports state that Russia may have committed horrendous war crimes against Ukrainian citizens. President Biden stated that he believes these are in fact war crimes and went on to say that he will be further imposing sanctions against the country of Russia. He also stated that he wants to see Putin under trial for these acts of violence. So the United States president is calling for war crime trials against the Russian president. These new reports include pictures that show many dead Ukrainian citizens uh, with current evidence suggesting that some of them may have been tortured and not just killed. Ukrainian President Zelensky has accused Russia of mass genocide against the Ukrainian people. Uh, some familiar with this matter believe that Putin may have given his troops freedom at all costs to do whatever they felt was necessary, and it has led to these acts of evil violence. Following this news, Russia denied all allegations, uh, but Biden says he's not convinced and will place these further sanctions on Russia and plans to provide further uh, financial aid to the country of Ukraine. Uh, now, it's not clear what these new sanctions will be. However, Russia is hitting back in even more breaking news. Russia is now threatening to cut off all food supply to unfriendly uh, countries. Now, this is not good. There's already rumors of food shortages, and now Russia is confirming we will make this situation worse for those that are unfriendly towards Russia. Russia's senior security officer has called this their quiet but ominous weapon against the West. German food retailers are now expecting to raise prices by 20 to 50% across the board on anything coming out of Ukraine or Russia. The danger of relying on other countries for important resources continues to be obvious. The unemployment rate is low here in the United States and job opportunities are booming despite the 40 year high of inflation. So lots of jobs, lots of jobs being filled, but everything is becoming more expensive. President Joe Biden has been trying to get Americans to focus on the positive of what he is doing because his approval ratings continue to decline no matter what he does, it's just going down. Now, Democrat strategists are now worried that his low approval rating may be the reason Democrats lose the upcoming election and more and more Democrats are not inviting him to campaign with them in order to save their seat in their home state. Uh, the biggest fear, according to these Democrat strategists, is that the House will lose its majority. They believe that they'll hold uh, the Senate, but the House is going to lose. So far, the one thing that Americans are happy about with President Biden is that he hasn't gotten us into war yet. I'm hoping he doesn't, right? Now, this is according to big articles coming out today. Now, former Obama economist Larry Summers is counseling President Biden to immediately stop threatening big oil with huge, huge taxation. Summer said, we get it. You want the country to go green, but you're also making the country go broke. Summer said Biden should be working on ways to incentivize more oil production versus shaming these companies that we depend on for affordable gas prices. So he's basically saying, switch up your strategy, President Biden. Now, let me know in the comments, is the Obama economist right? Should President Biden be working with big oil to incentivize them to lower our gas prices and produce more oil? Or should he continue shaming them in order to lower the gas prices? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. 
Former President Obama and his cabinet were never so green thinking as the Biden administration. So there is a clean, a clear distinction between Vice President Joe Biden and President Joe Biden when it comes to green agenda items. This could be the fact that there's more progressive Democrats in office than there were during Obama's administration. Vice President Kamala Harris's uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, Michael Fuchs, uh, said he's leaving. He's done. I'm out. This marks the sixth top staffer to leave Harris's office in the last few months. Now, it's not clear why he's reasoning. Uh, there's not clear reasoning to why he's leaving. Uh, but according to a best-selling book that came out, there is a lot of drama in the vice president's office uh, among staff members, and there are bad feelings behind closed doors between she and and President Biden. So this could be the reasoning behind that. Former Alaskan Governor Sarah Palin will be running for Congress to fill the vacancy left by Representative Don Young. The country has mixed feelings about Sarah Palin. Some absolutely love her and others say she should not be in politics. Uh, she ran for vice president with Senator John McCain against President Obama many years ago. Uh, as former President Donald Trump continues to have issues getting his new social media platform up and working, uh, two top executives have quit out of nowhere without reason why, uh, and they are also moving on. Uh, many in the country are hoping to have some kind of uncensored social media platform, but it looks like that is harder than uh, everyone imagined. Elon Musk recently uh, played with the idea of starting his own social media platform. However, the news broke today that he has purchased 9.2% in the company Twitter. Uh, this caused Twitter stock to jump over 20% this morning. Elon Musk has not commented on why he wants to be more involved in Twitter, uh, but it looks like he will be taking a larger role in the company's future direction. Um, so who knows? Twitter may be a great social media platform going forward. Now, just over a year ago, I told you about a company I believed would do well in the gold and silver mining sector. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID surges, uh, many of their projects were pushed back or delayed. Uh, with work restrictions lifting, this company is about to start major mining production and in just the last 30 days, their valuation is going way, way up. And they've attracted some incredible uh, private institutional investment partners. In the last year, Blue Lagoon Resources has pulled in over $1 million uh, worth of gold and silver from the ground out of their mining operation. And they've been uh, shipping it to a, uh, a processing company by the name of Nicola Mining. Now, Blue Lagoon Resources, their ticker symbol is B-L-A-G-F, and you can find them on most uh, major trading platforms. Now, about 30 days ago, Blue Lagoon Resources announced hitting a large gold vein, uh, according to Yahoo Finance updates and news section. Now, this could be a huge deal when you find these big gold veins in the earth. So the company is hitting gold, and they're cash flowing, which wasn't happening when I told you about them a year ago. Now, uh, one thing that I like about Blue Lagoon Resources, even more than hitting gold and uh, starting to cash flow, is this company carries no debt. Um, so they're cash flowing, they're finding gold, they have no debt. And, and this is a big deal because most mining companies have millions or hundreds of millions of dollars in debt. Now, another thing uh, to look out for is Blue Lagoon just did a private capital investor raise of $5.7 million to expand their dig and their operations. Uh, now, remember, other mining companies that I've told you about, most of their exit strategy is to either hit pay grade dirt or be bought out by a larger company. And I think both of these are on the table for Blue Lagoon Resources. Um, they're, they're just, they're about to take off, I believe. So, okay, now the, a large institutional investor is seeing tremendous value. And this is when, this is when the lights should go off, right? If the little guys like you and me are buying, that's one thing. But when the big companies start to invest, that's when you know they're onto something. 
So Blue Lagoon Resources just raised $5.7 million to directly affect and expand their mining operation. Well, one of the groups, uh, and you can look them up, is Crescent Capital LLC. And of the 5.7 million, they were 18% of the buy-in. Now, here's what's really cool. The lead geologist for Crescent Capital is a man by the name of Dr. Quinton uh, Henney. Uh, he is likely the most lucrative geologist alive today, and he sits on the board for Crescent. This geologist has found some of the biggest gold veins in the world and, and taken small mining operations into huge, huge numbers. I'm talking in the thousands of percentiles in growth. Now, uh, they don't invest in mines unless they see their potential, right? Like they're not going to put their money on the line unless they can see how they're going to get it back and how they're going to get more of it back. And so as they look at the Blue Lagoon project, uh, that is exactly what they're seeing. Now, I pulled a section of a comment from Dr. Henney uh, on his thoughts, and I wanted to share that with you because according to him, this is a big opportunity and we're right in the early phases of this opportunity. Now, this statement's a little bit long, so I'm going to put it up and you can absolutely hit pause and read what one of the world's top geologists thinks about Blue Lagoon Resources. I'm also going to put up a statement that was just released from the CEO, uh, Rana Vig, from uh, Blue Lagoon Resources, and he, he lets you know, he lays it out in one paragraph why they're about to have great growth, their debt situation, and how this new capital raise is going to help them expand and pull all this gold and silver out of the earth. So anyway, really great uh, opportunity. And uh, I think Blue Lagoon is right on the verge, and uh, they're a great buy and hold opportunity over the next 10 years. So again, the company is Blue Lagoon Resources, and their ticker symbol is B-L-A-G-F. Now, I, I just want to disclose to you, uh, I am a shareholder in this company. Uh, I see the value in that, but that doesn't mean you should just go buy them. You need to do your own research, but I wanted to share a couple of the top reasons why I'm an investor in Blue Lagoon. Also, I just wanted to disclose that uh, because I, I think that I should, but you should definitely do your own research. Again, check out Blue Lagoon Resources, B-L-A-G-F. I think it's a great uh, buy and hold opportunity. Okay, now in some other breaking news, President Biden said he wants to decriminalize marijuana. That could be huge. Uh, now, this might be a way for President Biden to atone for the crime bill that he passed many years ago that locked up thousands and thousands of people for minor drug possession and other things that now the, the world just doesn't put as much value on as criminal. And so this may be his way of atoning for that crime bill. The, the House of Representatives has officially voted to decriminalize marijuana. However, it still needs to go to the Senate, but it is believed that it will get enough votes to pass over in the Senate. It's expected to go over there sometime this spring and then head up to President Biden's desk. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. You guys, I have a feeling that uh, we're gonna see some big changes uh, here when it comes to the gas prices. There's just too much pressure on the president not to act, not to do something. Former presidential uh, economists are coming forward. They're trying to give advice. I don't think anyone wants to see President Biden fail. I know I certainly don't want to, right? That would be like praying that the captain of your uh, your uh, plane like dies or fails or something, right? So like we should all be sending good vibes, but there there needs to be some changes when it comes to inflation when it comes to these ridiculous gas prices, but I feel like we're on the verge, right? There's a lot of good advice that's coming forward and there's just so much pressure to act in the best benefit of the American people. Also, Democrats have an election coming up and they want to retain power. So there's got to be some changes that are coming up and I'll be here to let you know what they are. Now, we know that a lot of people are struggling with gas. So Casey and I, in the month of April, we're going to give away $100 gas cards 
to 60 members of our YouTube community. And we're really excited to be able to do that. I wish I could do more. If other uh, sponsors come along, I will definitely do more. But 60 people are going to win $100 uh, gas gift cards. And I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community. And I'll see you on the next video.